Addressing an event held recently in Mathura, Minister of Public Security Tiran Alas alleged that a certain group of attorneys who oppose the appointment of Acting Inspector General of Police Deshabandhu Tenakon ironically appear in court defending drug dealers. Deshabandhu Tenakon no police pati karanda mama kya na vela ave ek ata viruddha vechha neetiing yavaru tamai passe balnu kote billiona ganang valin saliya ragana me kudu jale inna kote ma peni hitinne. However, in response to the statement made by the Public Security Minister, the Bar Association of Sri Lanka stated that the right to represent a client is a professional right which is protected by law and any threat to that right is an attack on the profession at large. In a statement, the Bar Association went on to say that the Constitution under Article 13, Subsection 3, which states that every person has the right to a fair trial and the right to be represented by a lawyer of their choice, specifically guarantees the right to legal representation. While highlighting that public confidence in the police is vital for the administration of justice and the rule of law, the BASL stated that there has been a serious erosion of public confidence in the police in Sri Lanka over the past few decades due to lack of independence, politicization, police brutality, custodial deaths and the lack of professionalism. Further, the Bar Association of Sri Lanka stressed that it is of the utmost importance that the next permanent appointment of Inspector General of Police should be an officer whose service in the police is exemplary and free of any blemish and able to restore public confidence in the Sri Lanka police. Referring to the recently delivered judgment by the Supreme Court where three respondents, including acting IGP Deshabandha Tenakun, who was the then superintendent of police in charge of the Nugegura division, were ordered to pay compensation out of their personal funds to a petitioner for violating his fundamental rights. While being detained at the Mirihana police station in 2010, the BASL stated that no officer who has violated fundamental rights or has criminal cases against him or any allegations of involvement in unlawful activity be appointed to the office of the Inspector General of Police. The BASL urged that the appointment of the IGP be done with transparency so as to establish public confidence in the appointment process.